everyone, welcome to day one of Buzzword Readathon. Um, it is currently about 5.30 p.m. and I got off work and then I went to the grocery store and then I came home and here we are and I haven't read a single thing yet today. So the first book I plan to start tonight is Her First Mistake by Heidi Perks and the only thing I remember about the synopsis of this is that it's about a woman, she's like babysitting her friend's kid and the child goes missing. So I'm super excited to start this one. I will read a little bit of this before I have to start cooking dinner. And for dinner, I think I'm going to make like, it's like a chicken and potatoes type of dish. I'm really not sure. but. So you'll see me make that. And also when I was at the grocery store, I picked up this new snack. And I don't know if y'all have tried it yet, but it's so good. It is these Skinny Pop Puffs and the cinnamon and sugar. Um, these are freaking bomb. Like I shouldn't have opened the bag because now I can't stop eating it. But yeah, so those are super good. I highly recommend them if you when you go to the grocery store again to pick some up but um, yeah so I really have not, no reading updates to talk about so as soon as I read some more of my book I will update you this evening before I go to bed read about 60 ish pages of her one of her one mistake by Heidi Perks and I'm really liking it so far it's really a fast-paced thriller so I'm pretty confident that I will be able to hopefully finish this tomorrow but this is about a woman she is babysitting her friend's three-year-old and her and her kids and the kid that she's babysitting all go to a school fair and while they're there the little girl that is that she's babysitting goes missing and no one can find where she is it's told in like dual timelines and so you're getting the perspective of her while she's telling the detectives her side of the story and what's happened and you're also following before while it actually happens when the child goes missing so like I said overall I'm really really liking this book so far so yeah so I will continue reading that this evening and um, I usually get a lot more reading done when I'm like laying in bed for the night 
but yeah so I'm gonna continue reading and I will check in with you guys tomorrow it is day two of buzzword readathon and I read about 100 pages yesterday in Her One Mistake by Heidi Perks and so far I'm still really really liking this book. It's really gripping and I'm definitely invested in the story so that's really good. Um, there's really nothing else I can tell you about what the book is about because I don't want to give any spoilers. So, so far still loving it really really good and Shelby at Shelby Tiger Reads is actually the one that recommended this book to me so if she liked it then I knew I was probably going to like it as well because we like very similar uh, thrillers so my goal this evening is to get this book finished because I don't have anything else going on this evening and then of course cook dinner and then I also need to make a dessert for our potluck tomorrow at work. So I'll be making pumpkin chocolate chip bread. I know I made that in my Eleanor and Gray vlog, so I'll be making it again tonight. Um, and I'll show you me making that. And <clears throat> an update on last night's dinner. Um, I was not a big fan of it, so I definitely don't recommend making that like my husband really liked it but I just was not a fan I don't know I felt like uh, with all the the basil pesto in it, it it just made it like really salty and of course I added salt to the chicken too when I cooked it so it was like an overkill but yeah was not my favorite sometimes you win some sometimes you lose some with cooking you just never know but <clears throat> I also did get a package in the mail from Penguin Random House. Um, not really sure what it is, but let's find out. It is. No. Oh my god. I got an arc of Darling Rose Gold. Um, I am so excited. This is like one of my most anticipated uh, reads for 2020. So. Um, nobody wants to hear the truth from a liar, says in a compulsive, sharply drawn debut, Stephanie Warbell, which is the author, peels back the layers of the most complicated of mother-daughter relationships. Um, I am so excited. Freaking yay. Okay, so that's awesome freaking news. Um... I don't even know what else to say. I'm just super, super excited. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to go read now. Um, so I will check back with you guys later this evening. I'm really hoping, like I said, to finish this. I have 200-ish pages left. So yeah, so I will catch up with you guys later on this evening.
everyone. It is now day three of Buzzword Readathon. And I know I said last night that I would get her one mistake finished, but however, I have about 50 or so pages left, so I'll definitely finish it tonight. I know I will. But as soon as I finish that, I will give an update about my final thoughts as of right now. Still really liking it. The twist have been real good and I did not expect them at all. So that's good. And um, dinner last night was so, so good. Oh my gosh. And um, the bread that I made, it was definitely a hit at work today because when I left, there was like three fourths of the loaf left. So glad I made that and glad everyone liked it. So that's good. And I wanted to actually tell you the synopsis of the book that I got yesterday. I was so excited that I just didn't even really tell you what it was about. So anyways, it is Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Warbell, and this is going to be published on March 17th of 2020. And this the synopsis of this says, for the first 18 years of her life, Rose Gold Watts believed she was seriously ill. She was allergic to everything, used a wheelchair, and, pr and practically lived at the hospital. Neighbors did all they could, holding fundraisers and offering shoulders to cry on, but no matter how many doctors, tests, or surgeries, no one could figure out what was wrong with Rose Gold. Turns out her mom, Patty Watts, was just a really good liar. After serving five years in prison, Patty gets out gets out with nowhere to go and begs her daughter to take her in. The entire community is shocked when Rose Gold says yes. Patsy insists all she wants is to reconcile their differences. She says she has forgiven Rose Gold for turning her in and testifying against her, but Rose Gold knows her mother, Patty Watts, always settles a score. Unfortunately for Patty, Rose Gold is no longer her weak little darling, and she has waited such a long time for her mother to come home. So... Like I said, this is one of my most anticipated reads of next year, so I'm super excited to read this, so yay. So yeah, that's really all updates I have as of right now. I have about 50 or so pages left to read. I'll finish that up and then I'll cook dinner, even though I'm not really all that hungry because we had our potluck today and there was so much food. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I'll cook dinner tonight or skip it. I don't know. We'll see. But like I said, I will come back when I have finished her one mistake and I will give my final thoughts. my first book of buzzword readathon i finished her one mistake by heidi perks um i'm gonna give this book four stars i really really love this book and i really did not see the twist coming and i was super surprised about 
who actually took her daughter and I couldn't even imagine her friend going through something like that and even uh, her the mother herself like I could imagine losing uh, having her daughter go missing but so I really love the premise of this book um, the only thing that I didn't really like was the ending was just so long-winded like it, it's one of those books where it ties up in a pretty little bow at the very end of the book and for a thriller I just don't like that at all um, yeah so I felt like the ending was super super long and yeah so overall like I said I really liked it um, I definitely would recommend this book and I'm glad I read it so yay uh, the next book that I want to start is Summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrandt so I'm going to start this one tonight I have a little bit of time before bed and I will let you know tomorrow how far I get and um, if I'm liking it. I've heard really great things about that book. I know that Shelby at Shelby Taggart Reads gave it five stars. Nicole at Girly Girl Bookworm also gave it five stars and so did Beth at Beth in the Books. So I'm pretty excited to start that one and see how I like it. Um, and then uh, dinner tonight I had I made the orange chicken with broccoli and rice and that was so comparable to Trader Joe's uh, mandarin orange chicken that you can get there and yeah it was so good and I've been craving that so bad lately like I really wanted to go to like I really want to go to uh, Trader Joe's to get some of that so that definitely helped my craving for that so that was really good but yeah so that's it for me tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow it is now day four of buzzword readathon and I'm about 40 pages into summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrandt I left the dust jacket downstairs but so far, I'm really, really liking this book. Um, it's about, well, the, in the prologue, you learn that one of the brothers, Tigger, that's his nickname, weird nickname, but whatever, um, is getting drafted to go to the Vietnam War. And then you start into the first chapter in June of 19... Uh, 69 and you're going through each of the perspectives of the three sisters so I'm really liking that and they're like all different ages and like different uh, different places in their lives and I've read about one sister Jessie she just turned 13 and her and her parents are about to go to their summer home in Nantucket at their grandmother's house and she doesn't really want to go she wants to stay with her friends and then the next perspective is Kirby and she's 21 24 I don't know in her early 20s and she actually is going to stay at home for the summer she is renting a a uh, room and she's going to be getting a part-time job so that's really all I know so far I'm just got to the next sister's perspective and all I know about her is that she is pregnant and her fiance I think they're engaged is 10 years older than her so yeah so that's all I know so far. I'm really liking it. I love how you get the different perspectives of 
the three sisters so yeah um, once I read more of this I will catch you up on what I think of the book so the rest of the evening I'm going to probably get a workout in and then I will lay in bed and read for a little bit longer and then thank God tomorrow is Friday <sighs> thank God um, so yeah I should definitely be get I will definitely get more read over the weekend and yeah we'll see where the weekend takes us so I will catch up with you guys tomorrow <laughs> It is now Saturday, day six of Buzzwork Readathon. Um, I did not update you at all yesterday because I didn't do any reading at all. Um, we ended up going to Hobby Lobby when I got off work yesterday, and I ended up getting all new Christmas decor for our tree, and I got a couple other items. So I am definitely not going with the traditional red and green uh, colors this year. I'm going with more um, like a winter wonderland I guess is what I'm envisioning. I'll show you everything that I got after this clip but yeah so and I've had my other decor for like I don't know six seven years so I thought it was time for a change up so yeah that's what I ended up doing and then um an update on those shrimp tacos that I made on Thursday. Those were super, super good and they were really easy to make, so I highly recommend trying them. They were really good. Um, let's see what else. And then I'm still currently reading Summer of 69. Obviously, I haven't gotten very far since I didn't read anything yesterday, but I know I updated you about the backstory of the brother and the two sisters and then the other sibling I now know more about. Here's the cover of what I'm currently reading. Um, so the backstory of the older sister Blair, she, I know I said that she was pregnant and I couldn't remember if it was like a fiance or whatever, but actually she is married to this guy and funny story about that, she dated uh, his younger brother before they got married, obviously. Um, so I thought that was interesting and her husband right now, he's like an astrophysicist and he told her that he doesn't want her to work, that he wants her to stay at home 
and deal with all of the, you know, household chores or whatnot. So she's not very happy about that. And so as time goes on, she ends up getting pregnant, obviously, because that's what I referred to before. But yeah, so it goes on about how when they got married, her getting pregnant, and then one day while she's pregnant, she decides she wants to go surprise her husband at work. And the uh, graduate student that's working like the reception desk told her that she that he was on a uh, personal appointment well when he finally came in he looked like he was guilty so she's assuming that he is he's been having an affair so there's that but yeah that's really all I know so far like I said I'm still really early into the book and I'm really really liking it so that's good so I plan on continuing in this book and that's really all I have planned for today and then I will update you guys when I have uh, more thoughts about the book Is the last day of buzzword readathon and I have completely sucked at this readathon so I've finished one book like during the week and then I started another one and I'm like a hundred and twenty pages in summer of 69 and I'm really really liking it I just am reading really slow or I don't know I'm just not really in the mood to read maybe I'm not really sure but I'm not doing so hot but like I said I'm really really liking it I'm loving all the different perspectives of the different sisters and I really am liking all the family drama so I'm really really enjoying that but then I ended up starting another book last night I ended up starting Landon and Shay by Brittany C. Cherry and this counts because it says part one on the cover. So this is the companion novel to Eleanor and Gray and obviously this one follows Landon and Shay and this is taking place when they are in high school and this is an enemies to lovers book because they absolutely hate each other but I think why I'm really really enjoying this book a lot is because I was actually in high school the same time that they are currently in high school so that is definitely like I don't know I can relate to the story more but yeah I'm like 100 pages into this one and this one is only 300 pages so I'll definitely finish this one today Will I finish Summer of 69? Hmm. Doubt it. But, hey, it's worth a shot. But, 
yeah, so I'm really enjoying that. Like I said, it's uh, Intimacy Lovers. Um, they, Landon and Shay, have a bet going on that they're seeing who will make each other love one another first. So that's fun. I'm curious to see who actually falls in love with the other one first. My guess is going to be Landon because he's a little bit of a softy. But yeah, so I'm really liking that. And like I said, I'll be finishing that one probably today for sure. And today I've already cleaned the house and I will be filming a video later today, which is exciting. Um, yeah, so I guess pretty much all I have left the rest of the day is film a video, read, and then I also have our... Thriller Talks After Dark live show tonight. We're discussing The Other Mrs. Miller at 9 p.m. So I do have that this evening. And other than that, that's really all I got going on. When I have some more reading updates, I will let you know. about five o'clock and I have about a hundred pages left in Landon and Shay and so far I'm still really really liking this book um, even though um, I'm pretty sure it's classified as a YA even though she is a romance adult romance uh, author so I mean I know there's gonna be a part two of this book of um, their love story obviously and I'm assuming it's gonna be when they're adults and I think this is just them you know getting you know getting their backstory of how they become together um, so yeah this is even though it's YA like I said I'm really really liking it um, I love enemies to lovers so I'm really really liking that aspect of this book I really like getting the backstory of Landon and Shay and getting to know them more. So I feel like with there being two parts to their um, story, I feel like you're getting a lot more background with both of these characters. And I really, really like that. So, and I feel like this book is definitely not rushed at all. It's really... I mean, it's an enemies of lovers, and it's also like a slow burn getting into their romance, and I really, really like it. So, really loving this book, and I love how like Eleanor and Gray are both in this book, so it's like you've already read about them, and it's like you know what happens to them, so it's kind of cool like reading about them and also getting to know more about Landon and Shay. So, my plan for the rest of the evening is... I have about an hour before I need to cook dinner and then I'll cook dinner um, and then while we're eating dinner I really want to watch a Christmas movie. I've been in the biggest mood to want to watch some Christmas movies so I think we're going to do that while we eat dinner and then um, hopefully I'll be able to finish this tonight before our live show and then our live show is at 9. Um, I'm sure it'll probably last for an hour, hour and a half, and then if I hadn't finished this book, because I have about 100 pages left, if I haven't finished it, I'll finish it then, and then I'll update you, I'll hopefully update you tonight before I go to bed, but if not, I will do a full wrap-up of everything uh, tomorrow, I guess, until I finish the book. I will catch up with you guys then.
I just want to give my final thoughts on the books that I read for Buzzword Readathon. I ended up completing two books and I read about a third of another book. Not my best reading week, but I think I'm getting into that, like, that Christmassy type mood and I really want to read Christmas books. So the books that I read really weren't what I was wanting to read. I mean, they weren't bad books by no means. So the last book that I was reading, uh, that I did end up completing is Landon and Shay, and it says part one in the, in the title, but and this is by Brittany C. Cherry, and I ended up giving this book four stars. Uh, I love this book because I loved the enemies to lovers trope, and it's also slow burn, so I really like those types of romances. This was a YA uh, book, however, um, it, it didn't really read as a YA, so I think that's why I liked it more. Um, the only reason I'm not giving it a full five stars is because I just didn't have that emotional connection to the two characters. I really liked them. Um, so I'm hoping in the second part of their story that I'll be able to be more emotionally involved with these characters because I really do like them as teenagers. Um, so hopefully when they are adults, I can connect with them more. So I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I can't wait for the second part to come out. Um, it should come out uh, next week, I think. So I'm pretty excited to read that, but glad I read this. Um, and then the other book that I ended up completing was Her One Mistake by Heidi Perks. And I also gave this book four stars. Um, just a quick uh, wrap up of this book. I really loved the twist in this book. Um, I love the storyline. The only thing that I didn't like about this one is that the ending was just, it was too long and it just wrapped, wrapped up in like a pretty bow. And I don't like those types of thrillers. Um, I like you, you know, a little bit of guessing towards the end, not everything completely wrapped up. But, but I still really, really enjoy this one. I recommend this book um, if you're looking for a uh, domestic thriller. And then the book that I read a third of is Summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrandt. I really, really am enjoying this book and I definitely will be finishing it this week. So it's not, be I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it because I didn't like it. I just didn't, I honestly just didn't have time to finish it. And it is a longer book, so I really wanted to get another book read, so I ended up picking up Landon and Shay just so I had another book read. But really enjoying that book. I can't wait to finish it because I know uh, three of my friends, they all gave it five stars. So I'm pretty sure I probably will give it five stars too, and I don't wanna rush through it just to hurry up and get it read for a readathon. I want to actually, you know, consume the book. So that's what I'll be reading this week. So yeah, those are the books that I completed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.